Next, we meet city volunteer Tai Su Lian in Beitou of Taipei City, who lost the ability to walk after falling. Meeting city volunteers, she eventually joined the rank of recycling volunteers, while her husband also gave up his bad habits after joining Ciji. Tai believes that embracing the Dharma has changed her entire family. The sound of plastic bottles being flattened is a sound Dai Su Lian is very familiar with. The sound also reminds her of the vow she made over 10 years ago when she decided that if she were ever to walk again, she would become a volunteer. I said, if heaven ever give me the legs to walk and the hands to work, then my first step would be to volunteer. So here I am. Even with her own heartfelt wish realized, she still never expected that she would also influence her husband to become a volunteer as well. Originally, I told him city volunteers don't smoke, drink alcohol, or chew betel nut. How can you really think you could be a volunteer? Then he told me, while well, I could quit smoking and chewing betel nut, then I could join city with you, right? In the past, her husband also said awful things, and Miss Dai responded similarly. In her notebooks, she used to write plenty of unkind thoughts, but over time, her writing has turned positive. Being around all these devoted Suji sisters, they really influenced me to change my thinking. My writing these days is full of love. Eventually, I think this was what made my husband change and join Suji as well. Recognizing how her life has changed, Miss Dai is grateful. I believe embracing the Dharma has really changed my whole family. I'm so thankful to Master Jin Yin for helping me and my family. That's why I celebrate the Buddha today.